Okay, so this is going to be an update on the RuneScape bot I've created. Um, this here is a recording of me running it for it went something like six hours. Um, and basically, I'm just going to run it from the start. I'm going to go through a couple of things and how it works, and then I'm going to skip through and show some of the later stages. Um, did one like this before, but I didn't do the recording. I showed it live, and the problem with showing it live is like you don't see some of the mechanics later on. So I figured I'd record it, and then we can skip through and speed things up a bit. So off we go. So first of all, you have to select the version of RuneScape you're playing, so whether it's the NXT client or the Legacy client. Now, um, the reason for this is that some of the items have different images, but I'll get to that later, but basically, at the moment, I'm pretty certain this only works with NXT, but I do have hopes to bring it into Legacy later. So once it's had the version selected, you can see it, um, it goes through the, the windows detecting how much money is in there. At the minute this is hard coded in, but this could be detected. Um, this is something later I plan to improve and add. Um, you can see I've coded it at 42 mil, even though they all have like 43, 44, and um, so on. One more thing to note is that this was recorded on a 4K monitor, so if this is small on your screen I apologise, but to get the four windows like this and get the, uh, the command line here, it had to be on a 4K monitor. Um, you can get four windows on a 1080p one, as I showed in previous videos, but then they have to be in like a square grid array, and uh, you can't really get the command line in very well. And feel free to go back to the other videos; you'll see how that works out. So it detects the four windows, and you'll have seen it. Um, it like examined the money pouch. So if I just start this again really quick, um, it actually went to the money pouch and examined it so that it would start the auto logout timer so runescape if you didn't know logs you out after like five minutes of inactivity so basically it's got an internal clock in this they go there to examine that money now this one um, does that as it's detecting the windows just so it can have an accurate time of when the last action taken was now the next thing it does is print out a, a list of items with numbers now these numbers are scores and this score is basically how good the item has been to us um, in previous runs and um, how much money it made basically so you can see the best item so far um, or the best item currently has been incandescent energy this has a score of 1700 and basically these scores affect how likely they are to be chosen so you'll see when we uh, select an item so the loop started and now it's picked chitin scraps now they probably are somewhere near the top but um, it is completely random except like it's weighted with these numbers. So you can see there are chitin scraps there, so it's fairly near the top, it's got 217. So to pick that, it's chosen to buy it. Um, now it's going to try and find the prices. So one thing I've changed since the last time, um, it types in here a price, it buys it for like 1 mil rather than clicking the 5% uh, button every time. This just speeds things up and helps out quite a bit. So we buy it, we check the price it bought for. And we sell it and now it chooses 1 GP rather than again clicking the minus 5% button. You can see there's a command line output down here telling you the price it was bought for. And then it tells you the price it was sold for so quite a big margin there on chitin scraps so this could be a good item if it buys or sells quick enough, or buys and sells quick enough. So I'm just going to skip through a little bit now, but basically what happens here um, is, oh, so you can see as well it's added like 1GP to the price, so it's got a feature built in where if the gap's big enough, uh, if the gap's like over 5GP, then it'll just undercut and overcut by 1GP to help buy quicker and sell quicker. Um, also gives you a printout of how much profit we've made and how long it's been running, and then the profit per hour. It also saves, now we're going to get to the saving thing um, towards the end of the video, but basically this feature here um, is pretty good, I quite like it. It saves in this state so we can load that from here, uh, like in the future. So you see we've picked prayer portions now, these again are probably quite near the top, so let's just have a look. Um, then we've got prayer portion 4, so 167. So I'm just going to skip ahead now, we've got like 10 minutes, we'll just see what's happened. So we've got 
No items have sold yet. We've, we've still made zero profit. Uh, zero profit here and zero per hour. But you can see we're filling in the offers and we've had a sell offer. So if I go to where this sell offer, um, where like Runite Ore bought. So there's the buy offer for Runite Ore. It's the only thing we're having like a six, uh, sorry, a nine hour recording nearly. It's very hard to find exactly where you want to be. So I think it's about to buy now. But it's somewhere close to now, so we'll get there. So you can see it's been run for seven minutes and they're all still logged in. So the auto logout feature has been working. And the way that works is like it picks a random number between like, um, I think it's like 50 and 200. And after that many seconds, it'll uh, click on the window and like stop it from logging out. And it's random and um, what it will do, it will either examine the money or go to the sale history tab. So a couple of different features I could add in there, a couple of other things I could always like uh, check a, an offer for example or click on sets or I don't know, a lot of different things I could do to stop it logging out but for now it's just got two and I don't really see a need in adding too many more. Um, a really big, like, really big improvement I made to this um, that I haven't yet mentioned is you might see all this print here saying like image of prayer portion has been updated and stuff. Um, basically, when an item, uh, when an offer is placed, like to buy or sell an item, it takes a screenshot of that particular box. Um, it actually takes a screenshot of the progress bar. So if I just pause this, you see the progress bar right here. So it actually takes a screenshot of that, and then when that uh, when, it, when it goes to like the next loop, it'll then check if that image is still the same as the previous one. And obviously if it isn't the same, then it's been updated. There's been like a bit of progress along there, so like the oranges came in and started working its way along. Now, that's used to check when an offer's just stuck, um, and when we can cancel an offer. So you'll see at Runite all there was updated, so it must have progressed um, between like here and here. Um, and you can see it was updated here as well and probably somewhere up here although i can't see anymore there will be more further up though but i'm not going to go back and find them but basically it skips track of when there's uh, updates and records the time of the update and therefore later on we can cancel offers that have been like stagnated for too long so you see that runite all is finished so it's now going to detect the update so cannonballs have been updated um, this is because the offer's been placed, so it automatically takes a screenshot when it's placed. So that's the first one for cannonballs, which is why it says updated. Renwall spikes are updated, and Runite R has been updated. That saves the state, and now rather than placing the next order, it now collects the Runite R and starts the sell process. Now, it recorded the price to sell at earlier, and because it was such a short time ago, um, it uses that price, but if it was like a lot longer, in the future then it would find the new sell price for it and um, we might get to that later if there was an item i'm not sure i haven't actually looked through this recording so i don't know i guess we'll see what we find so i'm just gonna skip through again and we'll see how it's getting on so you can see 30 minutes in we've made 133k not great profit but it's still starting you can see it's only really made it up to here uh, we haven't filled all our boxes yet. It takes a long time to set up because, as you can see, like four accounts, all members, um, and like managing, buying, and selling all these items takes quite a while. Now, this huge line of um, at signs here, this was a like a prompt for me to try and point something out. So let's see if we can find where it was. So it's right here, this nature room. So you can see, like, if we're going to take a screenshot and compare the screenshot and say, is it the same as before? Um, this in progress thing could could like interfere with that so I've set up a little detection for uh, detecting like the in progress sign and if we see that it like has a a feature to cancel that and take a new screenshot so you'll see now um, so it should detect it and then like the mouse will go over there and get rid of it sort of thing There we go. So it detected that the thing was there. Put the mouse over it, get rid of it, and then continues on. 
So it takes a new screenshot of that and then continues. You can see as well it gives you the, the readouts of like when things have the score updated. So incandescent energy didn't do too well, it's actually had its score reduced, so it's less likely to get picked than it previously was. Um cannonballs have had their score reduced, they were getting worse. A couple of other things about the score. The score is based on um how much profit it makes and how long it took for the offer to go through. Um basically it just takes the profit and divides it by the time is roughly how it works. Also there's features in here to stop um to stop like scores being falsely added. So for example if an offer doesn't actually complete and it gets cancelled then sometimes um the score won't be counted. I'll try and get to that later when we start cancelling items but yeah there is features in there to stop stuff like that happening. Um the score also every time an item's picked is reduced by 10%. So no matter what item you are, your score is reduced by 10% when you're picked. And then obviously if you do well it'll get added to and if not it'll go down even further. Um, this is so that if you pick an item and that item doesn't actually end up finishing the offer, um, it just gets stuck and ends up getting cancelled. So that the score is actually penalised and does go down eventually. Because um, otherwise you'd have a score that like it could be high from like it one time had a good sale but then it never ever completes an offer after that and therefore just gets stuck at that score and can never move so reducing it by 10% um, fixes that problem obviously these numbers I haven't worked on too well the 10% is just arbitrary um, it could be any number but I chose 10% to see how that would work same with the scoring function I don't actually think I'm using a very good scoring function but um, it works for now, so I'm leaving it as is. So I'm going to skip through a bit more. We'll see if we can find some cancelling items and stuff. Um, I don't see any any here. You see we made 380k an hour, this is like 400k an hour, so we're going up. You see we're going up all the time, like 362, 404, 444. Now we've gone down at 331. Interesting to see where this actually ends up because this is really low. Normally it's like at least a mil an hour by now. Um, so yeah, not looking great at the minute, but we'll have to see how it ends up. So incandescent energy is not doing very well at all. It's had the score reduced again. Um, ocean flask also had its score reduced. So you see we're at 600k now, it's still going up. Still not great though, could definitely do it better. Still haven't seen an item get cancelled yet in the uh, command line. Sure, one will have by now though. There we go, there was one cancelled a second ago, it's just went off the screen. If I go back to here, uh, a bit further here. Okay, something actually lost his money here. I think, maybe. Okay, so our chitting scraps ended up selling. Um, I don't know if this was the first time they were bought and sold, I would imagine it is. One hour 54 minutes in. I'm pretty sure it came from that slot there, so it must have been. Okay, so Super Restores got cancelled by the looks of it. Where are these at? There we go, here they are. If I go back a little bit, go here. So 
That's pretty much where we just work, I may as well just left it on, but you can see it's doing Zamorak Wine at the minute. Um, 150 GP margins, that could be good if these actually buy and sell. Although I don't have a lot of money, like 4.5 mil to buy and uh, spend on them, and obviously they're expensive. But it's not going to make a whole lot. Also, it doesn't realise it's got 4 mil because obviously I underset this. I set it under by about 2 mil just to give it a buffer of money. Because obviously it's buying things for 1 mil at a time. So, here it's detected that the image of Super Restores has not been updated in one and a half hours. So we're aborting it. Now, the reason it's one and a half hours is because this was a buy offer. So, I wasn't too worried about buy offers not completing um, quickly because if a buy offer doesn't fill then the price has probably gone up and therefore we're, nev we're not going to lose money. Um, we're going to miss out on like that slot's ability. Um, so basically, if it's been left an hour and a half, then it gets cancelled, and um, the items will basically be dealt with. So you can see here, it clicks the first slot, and then it waits, and this is to check whether or not it actually bought any. Because if any items weren't bought, then um, all the money would be here, and you click the money, and then it, that screen would disappear, um, and it would know that no items are bought. But in this case, items were bought, so it then collects the money as well. It then wants to check the new price because it was such a long time ago that it got the price. Um, it's probably out of date and I'm pretty certain it is out of date now since it's, um, the price seems to have gone up on it. So, trying to buy it for a mil, checking the new price. You can see that gives us like 140 GP margin or something, so I think the price has went up. Now tries to sell for the new price. You can see here we're gonna couldn't read the quantity. Um, this again is a feature I plan on adding really soon. But basically, what I want this to do, um, because all it knows is that, like all the script knows at the minute is that there were some super restores bought. That could be anywhere from one to the amount we tried to buy minus one. Um, just so happens in this case it's 879. Now what I would like it to do is be able to know how many were bought. The way I plan on doing this is by reading this quantity box here. Um, so I need to mess around with PyTesseract and see if I can get it to read this, but at the minute it can't. So what it does is because it doesn't know how many were bought, it assumes that... Um, actually, what does it assume? I can't remember how I coded this. It might assume that the minimum were bought. Yeah, what it, what it does is... I remember now. It... Um, it marks the profit as basically being zero, um, which is probably why it now thinks that it lost money, when really it never. It marks the profit as being zero and just tries to sell them for whatever price it is given. Um, so it is actually going to make money here, but it's probably not going to know that. And you can see it says that it set the score to invalid, so we're not going to get a score for Super Restore here, um, because the offer had to be cancelled and it was a buy offer. Sell offers being cancelled does still return a score, as far as I remember. Um, it's just not a great one. Whereas buy offers, it never returns a score because you can imagine if, um, say, if only one of them had bought and the offer hadn't updated in one and a half hours, and then uh, we collected the one and we tried to sell it, one would sell really quick. Um, imagine that instantly sold. And it then thinks we've sold like a thousand super stores when really we've only sold one. It would think there was a lot of profit made, whereas in actual fact there wasn't. And it would give it a really high score. So to prevent the artificially high scores, the artificial high scores, it sets it to invalid. And yeah, this this needs working on a little bit, but it does work. It's just not great. Um and it messes with the like the recording of how much money is in the window and stuff. For example, like it says there's like negative money in the window, but we know there's not. But the reason that there's not is because I told it like less that the window originally had less money than it did. I, I told it about two mil under, I think. I think it had like forty four million and I told it it had forty two. So it's actually used more money than it thinks it has available, which obviously is bad. We don't want to be doing that, but for now that's how it works. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Let's move on. 
So it's actually done this with quite a few things. So you see, um, Onyx Bolts were cancelled up here. Um, Magic Notepaper was cancelled here. And Prayer Renewal was cancelled down here. Now, let's just skip through. I want to see if. Um, so when did it actually fill all the slots? Okay, so it looks like it's about to fill all the slots now if if it's not done it before. Two and a half hours in, does that seem right? Oh, it's going to fill them sometime soon, surely. Maybe not if a lot of offers keep completing. Okay, so I'm going to assume it's right now. So what it does now is, uh, yeah, so we can see here, Luminous Energy has not been updated in 30 minutes. Now, the reason it's cancelling this one is now all the slots are filled, so effectively the bot would just be sitting there waiting for offers. Um, so what it does now is it sets the, like, the criteria for cancelling an offer down to 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes without an update now cancels it. And... Now it just goes through and clears up some slots. So obviously Luminous Energy hasn't been updated in ages, so this needs, well, in 30 minutes. So normally this wouldn't be a problem, but since we've now, we now would just be sat doing nothing, um, it's now going to cancel it. So it doesn't have to wait the one and a half hours that it normally would. One other thing is if it's a buy offer that hasn't completed, it's allowed to wait one and a half hours. If it's a sell offer that hasn't completed, um, then the, price, the chances are the price is crashing, or at least lower than what it thought. So they're only allowed to wait one hour, so we have like a 30 minute if all slots are filled. That's for buy or sell to be cancelled. Then if all slots aren't filled, we have an hour for a sell offer to be cancelled, and one hour and a half for buy offers to be cancelled. So cancel luminous energy, find the new price, set it to sell for that price. It's gonna cancel magic note paper. That hasn't been updated in a long time. Also it knows to add items on the cooldown, so for example because it knows some magic note paper was bought, it actually adds the entire like five hundred on the cooldown it doesn't realise how many were bought so it just assumes worst case scenario and puts them all on cooldown um, and then in four hours it can take them off cooldown that's because of the G limitations and if you don't know about the four hour G limit then look it up um, basically you just can't buy over a certain amount within four hours of a certain item you see our profit's like 966k an hour now it's getting pretty decent so it's like 1.3 mil here, it's getting really good, I wonder what item this was. Or which item dealt with it. Too sure, it doesn't seem like there's any standout item really. Okay, so there's something here, 2.6, 2.8, and it went from 2.8 to 3.5. Um, but there wasn't a score updated as far as I can see, so it must have been something that was cancelled. So something that got cancelled and got score marked as invalid ended up making us like 600k profit, but I don't actually know what it was. Interesting. But yeah, you can see basically it works. Um, it just runs continuously on a loop. And it does actually crash. Well, it doesn't crash. Um, it gets stuck at, I think it's like six hours right about here. Here with us, it's right here. Now the reason it does this is because, like I say, with the money tracking going wrong, 
Um, it's trying to spend 19.08 mil here, and I think we must have like 19.07 or something. Uh, we don't quite have enough, so it's it can't actually press confirm. It's tried and it's failed. Um, let's see if I can find where it does it. Yeah, so here we go. So it gets the price for the sell. You can see we're up to like 1.7 mil an hour nearly. We've made like 10 mil profit total. It's pretty nice. So, types in the quantity it needs to buy. Oh, one more thing about the quantity. I've never actually mentioned this, but um, the quantity is decided. So, here's the limit, here's the maximum amount it could buy. And now here's the amount it thinks it can buy based on how much money it has and it's going to pick the minimum of these two because obviously if this number is higher than the amount it could actually buy in four hours then it's not going to work um so yeah that it picks the lowest number from these two in this case fifteen thousand. and press confirm but it failed so you can see a why here this is going to say something like you don't have enough money for this or something like that um so yeah, this white failed, and then the script tries a couple of um, failsafe that it has, like moving the mouse and seeing if we can fix it by doing that, because sometimes it like pop-ups will appear if you put the mouse in certain places that can mess with it, so this tries to fix them problems, um, but it can't fix this one, because obviously this is like something to do with the money, I need to fix the money tracking situation, um, so it moves the mouse a couple of times, Gonna do this. I think I think I've got it set to do like eight or something, maybe ten. And then once it realizes that it can't fix it, it's gonna um, shut down the script, and all these accounts will all, all log out. Um, and I want to stop this before it does because then um, it'll stop my uh, account names coming up on the top. I'm going to show the script end first. Okay, so there we go. So we can't seem to fix the problem. It knows that we've actually got stuck um, and it just quits. Now, from this point, nothing is going to happen. Um, I was asleep. This was running overnight. So the rest, like, the next two hours, 50. Um, is all just this logging out and then yeah nothing happens so what we're going to do now and um, when i woke up i actually noticed this had happened i checked the recording quickly to see um, why it had happened and i then went back and like saw here so um you can see the state has been saved here and now all that happens after it saves is we pick item and ore, we find the buy price, find the sell price, and then attempt to buy it, but we don't actually buy it. So the state of our thing is actually saved, um, minus the fact one item and ore was bought and sold, but obviously when I woke up it's like more than four hours later than this, so that doesn't actually affect us. Um, and also there's a buffer in there, so you see this is 996, it can actually buy 25,000, but it's coded like, um, sort of take a couple off there for like a, to have a buffer, like an overhead of what it can buy, um, for situations like this, or like some other uh, situations, so it might need to get a price check of something. So, I realised it was saved, and decided I would show how the, uh, the saving thing works, saving solution. So let me get to that now. So this one here, you can see um, I've logged into all the accounts and all I've done is log in. I didn't actually mess with any offers. Um, if you just rewind the video 10 seconds you'll see the offers are the same but they've just been updated because obviously this is hours later. Um, however, the, the console output is the exact same as it was because this is where the previous one left off. So you can see I'm launching the script again, but now rather than asking me what version of the client I'm using, it detects that we've got a save file. Um, it prints out the item list thing again, 
um, it does this every time, just quite interesting to look at, because obviously you can see now that incandescent energy was actually like way lower score than it was when it started, um, so that didn't do very good. And I'm sure if you compare this list to the other one, you'll see like which items are good, which ones are bad. Um, so yeah, it doesn't actually seem like there was very many good items. I don't notice any going really high, but I'm sure there'll be some that improved. But yeah, incandescent energy definitely didn't. So it's detected our save, and now what it's going to do is it's going to update our um, logout timer thing. So this is like the one of the random logouts that it can do, random logout preventers that it can do. It's doing the same one again here. These are randomly chosen um, with a 50-50 chance of which one it'll do. Next one is also going to choose that by the looks of it. And this one examines the money. So once it's done all that, it's now going to start handling the offers. So obviously because this is hours later, none of the prices are going to be um, up to date. So it's going to have to find new prices for all the items. So cannonballs first up, so it's going to find the price for that and start selling it. So I'm just going to skip through, you'll see it can actually handles more. Um, when we leave off, we're at like 10.1 mil profit. This is when the script um, like broke and decided it were bought. So we're still at 10.1 here, but if I skip through, we're probably going to make some money. Uh, you can see it's all like Lauren's been cancelled because it hasn't actually been updated since the script cancelled. Um, 10.2 mil now we've made. And you can see our profit per hour dropped like a lot because um, it doesn't know that the script was cancelled. Uh, the, this, the reason for this, I chose it to not know. Um, so that like, because the save feature was orig originally intended or me to be able to run the bot and then if I want to go on the computer for say 10 minutes I could cancel the bot, go on the computer and then start the bot again 10 minutes and it would act like nothing had went wrong, like nothing had changed. Um, so I wanted it to keep the same stats, like the same profit start and profit per hour start, stuff like that. So yeah, that's the reason it does that. Now, another point of like loading from the save, um, another good feature of it, is when I can find where it starts. Okay, so it happens right here. So what to do? Okay, so it's going to collect this uh, Royal Bolt and um, sell offer. So normally this would then update the Royal Bolt's score, but because the score is based on time and the time of the Royal Bolt's offer um, was affected by the script like, shutting down and basically those hours between, so if it was going to give the Royal Bolt a score it would be extremely low because it would think that it had taken ages to complete the offer, when in actual fact it might not have taken that long, it's just the script wasn't running to find out. Um, because of that, the script does know and that it could be a wrong score because it was just loaded from a save. So since we've just loaded from a save, all scores currently being marked as invalid and will not affect their rating. So you can see it hasn't popped up saying we've had an updated score. Like it does appear, so wine is Amarak for example. Uh, the score was updated up here whereas Royal Bolt wasn't updated down here. So for all of these offers, it's going to mark the scores as invalid. Even the buy offers it marks as invalid um, because the buy offer might have completed quicker. Um, so yeah, you're not going to see any scores being updated along here, um, as all these offers are collected. But yeah, that's just so that the scores don't get messed with um, when loading from a save, so they don't just like artificially get dragged down. See, we're at 10.4 mil now. So I got stuck here for some reason. The fix seems like it does. Interesting. I don't actually know why I got stuck there, but at least it fixed. So 
I actually only ran this to like update the offers because um, I didn't want to be doing it manually and I thought it would be quite interesting to record so I didn't leave this running after this. Pretty sure I like cancel the script um, like now once it's finished cancelling offers and stuff. As soon as it like picks a new item I'm pretty sure I cancel it. Right now does it do it? Yeah here we go so it's finished like doing all the updates it needs to do um, and now it knows that it can start like buying new items so you can see it's picked a uh, teleport to house as the like teleport tabs as the next item to try and merchant um, so because it knows that now it's like finished dealing with all the previous um, stuff it's now going to start marking scores as valid so scores and like that happen now um, are now valid all of these items here will be marked as invalid um, but all the ones that had items like offers completed uh, they will still be invalid because they were marked as invalid so for example when cannonballs end um, their score won't be updated because that offer was marked as invalid but for example these teleport to house tabs these will now be marked as valid because these will be a valid score um, if that makes sense hopefully it does so yeah it does know to do stuff like that now this is where I jump in and cancel the uh, the stuff and obviously cannonballs is sold but yeah we're not going to see that so yeah that's it for that one um pretty much just want to show off like what it could do and where it was at if anyone's interested in like using this um i could really use someone to like test it on another system it might be a bit complicated to do but i would help you set it up if someone was interested in that so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to do that um but yeah that's it for now that's it for this video let me know what you think like the video if you liked it um subscribe if you want to see more I'll probably be making a few more of these when i fix some of the bugs and make a few more updates i plan on doing and yeah that's it for now thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video